अजिंक्य लोखंडे अजिंक्य लोखंडे the latest generation what we have into the indian markets and the global markets okay. now c class actually when we see it as a vehicle mm-hmm. this is something when a person would like to own a mercedes benz would want a comfort level vehicle okay. and then would enjoy driving the car or prefer driving the car themselves so c class is something what we promote or prefer people who would like to drive and would not like to chauffeur around much of the time mm-hmm. so you enjoy driving you drive the car yourself mm-hmm. this is something what we call as a bbs class Now, in terms of baby S class, what we call it and why we call it is because the shape and the design, what it resembles from the exterior and the interior, both resemble to what the flagship car, what we have is, which is the S class. Right. We have got the completely new designed seat. Okay. This is something which is right from the dynamics part. So, if you sit inside, the comfort what you get inside the car, lumbar okay. side supports, okay, newly designed headrest. So, normally, if you sit behind, your neck support is something which is very important when you're driving the car. Right. So, in case of any discomfort, you do not enjoy the drive. Mm-hmm. Here, the seats are designed in such a way that the discomfort part is eliminated. The design what we have currently is that the car is directly derived from the S class. So, it is kind of a waterfall console design. Mm-hmm. And the portrait display what we get is close to thirteen point seven inch. So, okay. it gives you a different display for the co-driver and the driver. So, driver has a proper twelve point three inch HD display. Where they can see many functions like the multimedia, MID, etc., etc., okay. and the co-driver can see some functions of the vehicle from the main display. If you would like to sit inside the car, mm-hmm. not that because it is not a supportable car, the space would not be there. It is ideally comfortable for full five adults. So mm-hmm. when I say it's a self-driven car, it is meant meant for the families. So family of five, they can enjoy drive together. They can easily comfortably sit five along. Okay. So C class is something what. We uh, informally call as the comfort class. Right. So if you have a kid who would like to go to college and he would want to have a first car in his life, then G L A or A class something what you would love to give them. C is something what you would like to own for the first time. So how much would this cost on the road? On the road, C class petrol starts at around seventy lakhs on the road. The diesel starts at seventy four, and the top of the line C class C three hundred the AMG line, which is the AMG counterpart in terms of looks and forms. It's a diesel engine. The ex showroom, the TCS, the insurance, the registration charges, all put together, the seventy is something what the petrol starts at. Okay. Seventy four for a diesel and seventy nine for a diesel engine. So it was the next. Uh, oh, Probably two three years down the line when you are wanting the car to be driven around in a chauffeur. Mm-hmm. Then E class is something E-class. what you would prefer. Something it's a long journey segment. So you mm-hmm. have the recliner seats, you have the best in class comfort for leg space. You have a chauffeur around. India is the only country in the entire world. We have the E class in long wheelbase and right hand drive. In layman terms, what a wheelbase means is the distance between the front wheel center to the rear wheel center. Now so that distance defines the comfort level inside the car. When you open the doors, better the distance in both the wheels, better is the leg space for inside the car. Here is the flagship Mercedes Maybach segment. What we have mm-hmm. the essence of luxury. So whatever vehicles we have in the Mercedes Benz series segment, the luxury what they have, Maybach is something which sits above them. So the level of refinement of the engine what we give you, the number of features what we give you exclusively into the car, the kind of leather design, the seat design, the options in the vehicle configurations. Are all something which the Maybach defines a segment in itself. So, just to give a small example, now this GLS Maybach 600 is something which is uh, which has a, a suspension system called the E-Active Body Control. Mm-hmm. Now, E-Active Body Control you must have seen in very popular videos that the car kind of dances. 
or uh, that function actually the purpose of it is if you are stuck somewhere in the offloading drive then that is something which will help you get out of the stuck situation but as a function if you see many videos you must have seen that it's kind of hip hop edition what they call it but that is something which was created for a next one luxury so that even if a maybach owner is stuck in somewhere in the offloading or uh, segment like that he would, the vehicle will help him itself to get out of those situations or challenge situation that is something what thought process went behind giving so that so it's an intelligent vehicle <laughs> correct then some interior features what i would like to show you you have an option of configuring the vehicle into a four seat configuration so whatever materials whatever stretchings we give you over here so this leather what we use inside the car currently this is called as the exclusive napa leather if you view okay? and with the 64 ambient lights what we have we have the 10 presets we have the rear seat and entertainment systems inside the car the wood carving inside the car is arranged in such a way it goes or complements the design part of the car so wherever possible you are made aware or made sure that the maybach logo is present in front of you so that makes you feel special sir absolutely been configured refrigeration compartment mm -hmm. so because of that this spare wheel is something what comes in the indian markets now globally you will not find a spare wheel concept seats recline by up to 43.5 degrees you have seat ventilation seat heating you have the massaging seat and inbuilt which gives about 12 different presets so you have something called as the hot stone massage So for the spinal cord area, what when you rest your back, so if you have posture massaging, that gives you the most comfortable massaging. Oh. Mm. What a car can offer. Seat pan can extend further. Oh, yeah. The seat calf support can extend further. And what is the cost of this beauty? So costing wise, the it's CBU firstly, so it is completely imported. We can configure the. It's assembled. No, oh, it's it completely imported. Directly. So you need to configure and one place the order. Oh. It is not completely customizable. We have a list of options what you can put into the car, yeah. so you can choose what features you want apart from those features. So you features. offer the features. We cannot Correct. ask. Completely, it is not optionally available. What as per your comfort. Mm -hmm. So what we have is these are the list of functions what we can have you configure the car for. Mm -hmm. According to your comfort level, you can choose whatever features you want, and that vehicle specially would be commissioned for you. So that nice. is something tailored to okay. CBU. So the standard X showroom without any loadings. The car starts at 2.96 CR X showroom. Okay. Depending on what all features or what all configurations you add in, it can go up to 4 CR X showroom also. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> EQS 580 is the flagship EV or electric vehicle what we have into the Mercedes Benz uh, family for Indian markets and like the E class what I just told before that that's the only long wheel base car and right and left for Indian markets apart from Germany India is the only country who is allowed to locally assemble the EQS out of Germany 
So what we are promoting as of now for the greener part of the segment is promoting EQ. And Mercedes Benz thought if we have to get something over here, why not get to the flagship part? So when we got the EQC initially, it was a CBU that was in 2020. But now with the EQS, that was the first flagship car, what we started assembling into the country. So that is something what we wanted to make a statement to them. If you have to get something, it has to be best. The EQS, we have a completely different architecture. So if you see the design part of the car, we call it the one core design. We don't have many crease lines for the car because for the EVs, less the track, better the efficiency, better the aerodynamics. Correct. The design of what you have is more rounded up. It is dynamic but not aggressive. So the difference between dynamic cars and aggressive cars. So what we consider our cars are the dynamic ones. So they give you that bold presence on the road, on the like the look on the road. The design is functional. It is something which will help technically in the car performance also. It is based in the S-Class segment. So what you get inside the car is a level of luxury what the sedan counterpart like the S-Class would give you. So once you tap them, it will welcome you. You open the door right. and in the interior, you have the plush leather seats. Like with the eco-friendly concept, with the EQS, we use some recycled materials also. But so this finish is slightly different from the rest, right? Correct. So that I was the one coming. Yeah. Sustainable luxury is something what we align ourselves on the EQ parameters. Now right. for these cars to have something in them which you would like, you should have the luxury, you should have the power, you have the comfort. But does the price match it? Yes, it definitely is actually one of the most value for money in the segment right now. So the X showroom cost for the car is 1.62 crores only. Mm -hmm. That too for a S class segment vehicle, that too for a full EV. And currently this is the highest range giving vehicle in the entire country. The battery capacity of the vehicle is 107.8 kilowatt hours. And with a single full charge, the car can go up to 857 kilometers as per the ARI claim. And close to 770 kilometers as per W23 claim. So that is something many people like to go to Goa. So main thing is you don't have range in the end. You charge the car fully once, you travel from Pune, you go to Goa without any particular stops, nothing. We but what then, happens if you need to recharge? Then, so then we, have, uh, we have an application wherein we can show you the nearest possible electric station. Because as India in terms of we are growing country, with the new technology coming in, there are many, many charging stations coming up in the near future and they're currently in progress. Mm -hmm. So whichever ones are finished, we have a few applications which can share the location of those charges with you. So if you're traveling interstate or intercity, mm -hmm. those are the charging stations which would help you in your journey. What if somebody are, wants to have a recharge at his at his residence? So, so uh, this is something called as the wall box charger. Now, when we uh, deliver you the car, when we invoice the car for you, this is something which comes along with the car without any charge. So we have our own setup. We have our own team which we have partnered with. Mm -hmm. They will help you have the wall box AC charger okay. installed at your location. Yeah. And few of our dealerships have the DC charger which are higher capacity which can work on the commercial meter. So this is something which comes along with the car without any cost. You have something called as the hyper screen which you see in the front of the car. Yeah. It is about 55 inches of display. It's mm -hmm. a merged display of three screens together. Yeah. So EQS was the first one to have the hyper screen display in the okay. second. I've never seen that big display. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Boy. Let's go. Ajinkya Lokhande, right? Thank you. Yeah, for uh, giving us this, uh, you know, having us here and giving us so much of information about the Mercedes, which we ourselves were not aware of quite a bit. So we would like to thank you, Ajinkya. We would like, like to wish you all the best. From, thank you. Uh, just for fun, India. Satish and myself, Siddha. Did you see? Did you hear? Did you feel anything?